Hi, we're on uh, Fakahachi Island today. We're in the 10,000 Islands area of uh, the Everglades. Um, we're on uh, standing on a, on, on a shell mound that the island is named for. It's a Calusa Indian mound. It was built by the Calusa Indians several thousand years ago over a several hundred year period. So several thousand years ago, it took them a few hundred years to, to dump all these shells here from wherever they lived. Uh, um, they fished and they built this island. So um, this is just uh, incredible. Where you're seeing now uh, is over in the direction. I can't point out the exact mouths of it, but the uh, Daniels Point area where the Fakahachi River and the East River flow into the uh, Fakahachi Bay. And of course, this is all part of the estuary system of estuary estuary system of uh, the Everglades, which starts about halfway up the state of Florida and trickles down through various areas through the Everglades. It filters down through Lake Okeechobee. Uh, typically, historically, that's what it did. Now we've altered that. Man has altered that over the years, and it doesn't flow. But a lot of the flow is being restored by the Army Corps of Engineers. We uh, we came upon the uh, entrance to the um, north camping area. There's two camping areas on this island, the north one and one down uh, on the east side of the island. And um, there's a cemetery out here that we hope to find. There is also ruins of a home. Apparently there's some old machinery. And I'm imagining there's a bunch of other stuff that no one's found, which we probably, due to time constraints and my fear of everything that crawls and slithers, will not find today. However, we did roll up on this super cool cistern. At least that's what the research indicates it is. There's two of them here, and I'm guessing they're both cisterns, or maybe this was a building of some other kind. You can see the flat area here that maybe um, wood was built on top of it and had a roof. Over here you can see the smooth area. So that was clearly meant to be that way. Excuse me, in the broken off section over here, you can see the tabby construction. They clearly used the, the tabby construction methods of that time period to, uh, to construct these structures of whatever the heck they are. Um, this one over here, I think has a better chance. Look at that skink. Has a better chance of being a cistern. It has a really cool gumbo limbo tree that's grown out of it. Um, just amazing, obviously. We're wearing our snake guards today because uh, we're in snake country. Um, and then over through here is where uh, the trail is. And we're gonna pick that trail up in a few moments. And as you can see, this is the detritus of camp site. So people can come up here, camp, wow. and uh, you're done. Enjoy all this, this has to, uh, to offer. Now the people, I'm sure, lived uh, inland, you know, in further. This, this whole island is probably a mile, three quarters of a mile to a mile both ways. It's not square, but, um, you know, it's probably that, that, that much of a distance. It's not, it's not enormous by any stretch. And my research indicates that the cemetery is in here a few hundred yards. So we're going to hope that I'm right because um, you're always right. It's going <laughs> <it's laughs> to be getting dark soon and uh, the storms, or rather the storms are going to be coming up soon. And then after that, it will be getting dark. So we've got about a two and a half hour paddle to get back to uh, civilization. So we want to we want to find what we came to find and get on out of here. So I'm going to photograph this site pretty well. And for now, we're going to we're going to be out. Just hit the. Uh, this button here will work. Ding, it'll make